さっちゃん<笑> !I'm almost ready.I miss you too, さっちゃん。How you been? ああ、mentally prepping myself. <笑> Alright, I think we can start. <laughs> it's a Friday, it's tiring. Oh, where's my. Hello? Where's my transition? <laughs> Hello, everybody. It's a Yumu, and today we're gonna play New Carnival, its newest event. Yes. Hope everyone's doing good. You have been living? Me too. Me too. Things have been. Uh, things have actually h a s been okay. It's just, I don't know. I'm just so tired. Yeah, for real though. I was like, hello? I paid many money for that transit. <laughs> Ah,、uh, is it working now? God damn, this microphone is six years old. <laughs> Thank you for letting me know. Is my audio okay? Is everything okay? Oh god, the desktop audio wasn't on. I've been listening to this, this, this punk ass music for the longest time. Hello, hi, r a t t l e c a r s Hello, how you doing? How you doing? <laughs> you good? Everybody good? Today has. These few days has been really hot. Stay hydrated, don't be like me. Eating a lot of salty foods, but it's so fucking hot. I am slowly drying out from the inside. I'm so tired. <laughs> ah, did I do my intro? Did you guys hear my, hear my intro? Yes, I think you did. Okay. So, Desert of Dusk, you're gonna have the king and the puppy. As cowboys. God damn, the puppy looks breedable. Holy crap. <laughs> Hi, Ava. Welcome. Everyday cup noodles in dorm. Jesus. Sacha. No, not like this. Not like this. Okay, I guess when Sacha dies, her, their body will be preserved really well. You know? <laughs> All right. Yes,、yeah, cowboy time. I honestly didn't expect No Carnival to do this. I, I just can't imagine cowboys. Gay cowboys. I, I know it's a thing, it's a genre of its own, but I have never seen a cowboy manga like from a Japanese person or any Asian person. A、Asian creator, actually. I've never s- e e like an Asian creator in Asia. I don't think they have ever made something like this.、So、I'm like, what? <laughs> I'm interested in what they look at here. I guess we'll find out. Are you guys ready? Chapter one? Let's go. But honestly, though, Dante got me. Got my dick in a chokehold, okay? Dante, when he came through the, the doors, I was like, whoa! Wow! <laughs> Garu, Garu just looks breedable. That's what he is. Okay, let's go. Chapter one. Wanted to say something u n s a y s o for a moment? It's okay, as long as you don't get cancelled. Because if you get cancelled, I get cancelled by, by automatic, you know? Hi, YY! Hello! How are you doing? You good? Garu, are you in your room? Oh, do let me know if I'm echoing a little bit. I didn't test my microphone and I changed tables, so I think like, the echo might be a bit bad. Hmm, strange. I can hear noise coming from the inside, but Garu didn't come to the door. 
Sounds good to you? That's good. Pog. Poggers. Yum, yum, yum. Are you guys ready to ride them, cowboys? Yeah, baby. <laughs> As you can tell, I'm very tired. <laughs> I, I still have to imagine. Cowboy BL? Cowboy BL. Jeez. We're gonna... Gosh. Is we're used to your technical issues? Please! <laughs> Going fine. Just melting here. Stay safe in the heat wave, everybody. I think it's like, for some places, it's becoming spring, so it's warming up really, really fast, so take care. Uh, I'm coming in. They don't just milk cows in their- Ah, oh, nasty! <laughs> Hi, Jim. Hello. How are you? Aw, oh, sweet little Garu. Our beautiful muscle shota. Let's fucking go. He's a cow. Like I'm not I'm not saying in a degrading way, but he's wearing like cow underwear and and lingerie inside, okay? <laughs> like, they're just saying that you know that that's implying something. And it doesn't help that he's a sheriff too. You know? It's like one of those corrupted uh what was it what's it called? Mind break? Hentai's? Yeah. <laughs> it's like winter here. Damn, I want that. I want that too. He hasn't even noticed me entering, and he looks like he has gotten something on his mind. Hmm, huh, this doesn't seem right either. Wait, is this Garu's room? Wait, I just noticed. Oh, this is so cute! Look, there's like a bone in the mid- Like, 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 a, like a baby dream catcher or whatever thing. The, the thing that hangs on the top, there's a bone. The headdress has a... The headboard has a wolf, paw prints, little ducky. Oh, there's two duckies. I think one's for Karu. That that's adorable. That's so cute. Ah, Aiden's present. Uh, during like the first year, silver mil. No, not silver miracle. Uh, Klein Star. It's there too. That's so cute. Karu, Karu. When did you come in, Master? Uh, I, I didn't hear anything. Oh, there's a floating meat! There's a floating meat on the top! That's so cute! <laughs> Usually, when I come to your door, you've already noticed the sound of my footsteps. What's got you busy? Huh? There's drawing paper and colors on the table. Ah, you're drawing the story that you told me that happened in the dead zone? Yeah, recently I've been thinking about stuff from before. And I felt this would make a good drawing. I was planning on showing it to you, Master. After I finished it. But this story may be impossible to draw. There's a dog pattern on the chair. Where? I need to see it! Move away! Move out! Move away, Aiden! <laughs> but this story may be impossible to draw. Oh wait, I said that already. Did you run into any problems? Yeah, because this time, I want to draw someone else's story. Da -da -da. Someone else's story? Whose? One time after Grams passed away, I met the lost traveler in the dead zone. He was close to dying. After saving him, I helped him find the way back home. That sounds similar to how we met. <laughs> Before that person left the dead zone, he told me a story that happened where he lived. Is that a chair? No, it looks like the end of his bed. Damn, I need to move away, Gar. <laughs> Oh, 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 it's a town located between the desert rocks. When the storms start raging, the sand blocks all sight. But on a road inside the storm, two people are staring at each other. Not a single trace of fear in their eyes. So cool! What happened next? 
they grip the weapons in their hands and turning their backs onto each other and moved away one step at a time. Just then, despite the sandstorm raging all around them, the heavy footsteps sound clearer than the wind. The moment the hands on the town's clock met the meet, and the town's uh, and the clock's sound rings forth. Pew pew. The two run around simultaneously and draw their weapons. Time seems to stand still. After a while, one of the two clutches off at his chest and falls over. The one still standing is the winner of the duel. Ooh. Ooh. That was awesome! I got all ten stub listening to you. A duel like this? Why does it sound familiar? But I'm having a hard time imagining what that place could look like. And the weapons they use and the clothes they wear. Maybe if I left the dead zone with a traveler back then to look, I might know. Aww. Is the bed spattered? Aww, it's okay. Gwen Chan Ayo. Ding, 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 ding. If the Garu from back then left his familiar surroundings by himself, he'd probably feel uncomfortable. Looking at the wolf yokai's dejected expression, Aiden can't help himself from reaching out and rubbing Garu's soft, dark hair, trying to encourage him. Ooh. It feels so good when you stroke my hair, Master. Are you trying to make me feel better? Not just making you feel better, but also praising you. Living in a dead zone by yourself is already hard enough. But you even helped a lost traveler return home. That's just amazing. Master. Oh, there's dog toys on the floor! <laughs> there's a dog bed on the floor! <laughs> That's so cute. <laughs> ah, found it. Are you in your room, Karakaru? Huh? Darling is here too. Blade, you're looking for... Karu? Yep, birds. Karakaru and I agreed to play ball today. You want to join, darling? Oh yeah, Blades re has read all the books in the library, maybe. Blade, do you know any places in the Klein where there's a town surrounded by desert rocks? That's also Solaria, actually. <laughs> Abel down! <laughs> Abel down! I know Princess Kuya was uh, has your dick in a chokehold, but please, we're not gonna lie. Mm -mm. Ku I got Kuya, Princess Kuya's card at the very last minute, and I unlocked the final room. I can't believe! I can't believe, Pinkor. <laughs> we're so close to ABO. We're so close to ABO. <laughs> <laughs> yes, me too. I fucking love it. Is it a good dying? I hope it's a good dying. I fucking love it. He fucking knotted in Aiden. He has a fox penis. <laughs> Kuya has a fox penis. No, no, no. Yakumo double PP hope. Next event, next year. We're gonna wait one more fucking year for that to happen. <laughs> if we have to wait two fucking years for Kuya's fox pepe to happen. We have to wait another two more years for Yakumo's double PP to happen. <laughs> Give us hope, yeah. Pinkor, please. Please, the people are starving. We want double PP. Yakumo. <laughs> and more nothing from Kuya. Yes. Onegaishimasu. Tanobu yo. Ah, the fire territory. I know the largest city there is Solaria, but the town from Garu's story is definitely not Solaria. All right.
right, that person back then told me the f town isn't far from the dead zone. Uh, everyone has different ideas about distance. Maybe... I'll just ask another way. Blade, have you heard of any stories like this? Oh, my nose is clogged! I was too horny and God decided to punish me by not letting me brave! Oh! This is the story the Traveler and uh, I met in the de Dead Zone told me. You you have read so many books, Blade. Have you read anything similar? Ah, I've read Pew 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 stories in a book! <laughs> if you breathe, you a thought- Fuck you! Yeah! <laughs> uh, maybe I want to be- No, I don't know. Maybe I already am. Oh. <laughs> it's good to be self-aware sometimes. Hi, Hunter! Welcome! I'm sorry you just had to come in right at the moment someone called me a thought, so... <laughs> oh, but but Aero Labs is releasing another, another explicit BL game. I'm kind of looking forward to it. Not yet. I haven't been sold yet. Like, because I'm waiting for the purple hair and the blonde hair character and the and the tan skin one i want i want to know who are their voice actors and what what type they are yes <laughs> <Get up! laughs> There's also clang 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 bang 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 pata 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 stories they're all in that book that's about as vague as it could possibly be, but it somehow seems to match the story's content. Which one is it again? I think I've been following it. It's a new one. It's a... Uh, it's for pre-registration for now. It's something... It starts with Velvet, I think. Velvet something. Let me look it up before we continue. This is just a BL corner at this point. It's not about... It's not about New Carnival at this point. <laughs> <laughs> we are just gonna talk about some delicious men. Let's fucking go. Oh, Velvet React. There, there will be an English version and it seems to be... It's gonna have a... Uh, well, yeah, because Aero Labs is Taiwanese, right? So we're gonna have Chinese, we're gonna have Japanese, and it looks like... It looks like we might have Korean. It looks like it. I don't think I can show you the trailer. Because it's kind of yabai, you know, like, it's... <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah, Velvet React. I think you can look it up in, like, Aero Labs uh, Twitter. Jesus Christ, I, I did not... I have never been into Aero Labs Twitter before, and holy shit, the fucking banner. I, I just clicked on it. The fucking feet pictures. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, all right. Damn, that's some nice rendering on some thighs. All right. Okay. Ah, <laughs> oh, God bless Taiwan. All right, let's go. Uh, th does the book have any illustrations? Or it didn't mention what the place where it happened looks like? That book didn't have any illustration. Huh? Oh. Oh, Garu! Oh! Oh, okay. Garu. But there was a map in the book! Bruh, come on! <laughs> you piece of shit, boy! <laughs> that brief pause nearly killed Garu. He was about to burst into tears! Really? Now we can go find out where the story happened. Thank you, Blade. But... Uh, even if you know the geographical location, it'll still be hard to draw if you haven't seen the place with your own eyes. Garu must be worried about that. Garu, you want to join me on an adventure? Huh? Huh? Master, you mean... Don't you love stories full of adventure? How about we go to an, on an adventure of our own this time? You just registered. Fuck, I gotta do it too. Later, after stream. I gotta do it. I gotta do it. 
<laughs> no problem. No problem. Arrow Labs! I'm streaming your game! Someone register because of me! <laughs> Please give me 10 E coin! <laughs> nah, just kidding. Sponsor me! <laughs> JK, 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 JK. Ah. Uh, an adventure of our own. Okay. I want to go see what those places wh and where all those cool stories happen to look like with Master. <laughs> and it's settled. We're going on an adventure. Wait, are we still in chapter one? Jesus. Okay. Let's fucking go. Chapter two. And we are going to have an adventure in the desert. Knocked it loose and before the dawn. Oh, is it the golden looking one? Yeah, that one was... It looks pretty nice from afar. I, I haven't tried it yet. Is it okay? Is it nice? <laughs> no, the moment I saw Velvet... The, the Velvet game, I was like, bruh, this is straight out from, <laughs> from the studio that made New Carnival. The format is exactly the same. I'm like, uh -huh. yes. <laughs> they just released the music video. Oh, that's Pog! That's Pog! Okay, they got the budget. Let's fucking go. I, I, I'm gonna take a look at that thing. Thank you, Hunter. The clothes and horse you instructed us to prepare are all ready. You can depart tomorrow morning. Oh, where is our Sundari prince going this time? Put the clothes down. Remember to feed the horse. Sun Lord Dante, that town. If you have anything to say, just say it. Yes, sir. I once heard a traveling merchant mention it. The merchant said that the people there have their own straightforward and fierce ways. That they have their own set of rules, but... Solaria doesn't have any records of the town's historical origins. Oh, so it's like a mirage town? Yo, that is... They are really doing... <laughs> They're really following the, the, the whole cowboy theme, you know, like... Ding, 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 the kind of... The kind of vibe going down, you know? Hearing the young butler's words, the red-haired youth's eyes narrow si slightly, staring at a certain weapon on the table in front of him. We're gonna bring the gun! Let's go! Gun! Yeah, I also noticed that. Solaria should have records of all the towns and villages in the fire territory, so this is rather unusual. On top of that, those woven items among the smuggled... Uh, uh, among the smuggled items recently, and these weapons being sh uh, shipped into Solarian secret? San Lord Dante, are you saying those things on the table are weapons? That's right. Good thing we intercepted them before they could make it to the black market. Hmm. It doesn't matter what kind of place that town is, but if they threaten Solaria's safety, I cannot remain idle. Oh shit, we are having another civil war? Jesus. Okay, damn, Solaria. No, Solaria is like a desert! There's nothing in Solaria! Why are people trying to attack it? <laughs> Why are people trying to attack this damn town? <laughs> God damn. Ah. Oh, poor Aiden. He's walking through the desert with, with two layers of clothes. <laughs> Fucking idiot. <laughs> Looks like... There's some buildings in the distance. Master, isn't the heat getting to you? There's nothing ahead. Huh? But I can clearly see. Oh, could this be one of those legendary mirages? Yeah, you're you're gonna get heat stroke, my guy. You're gonna you're about to die <laughs> before you're gonna get your costume. According to the map, we should be heading in the right direction. It's just that the scale doesn't seem to be very accurate. Ma ma master this book is very old. Could that town already be part of the dead zone? The map may be old, but wasn't that traveler you saved alive and kicking? If the towns turned into the dead zone, there should still be traces. Hmm. But maybe the relative positions of the town and the dead zone has changed. Let's take a break first before we go on. I got a feeling we'll be getting there real soon. Ah, I love how Aiden's so optimistic. 
But goddamn, you in this desert? Where's your butler? Is I he about to die? <laughs> <laughs> the dry wind makes the yellow sand dance in tornadoes, howling between the two passing men on their horses. Uh. Yeah, I think we'll get there soon. But technically, you should be covered more. Like a long piece. Oh shit, it's a fucking. It's Texas! In the movies! It's not actual Texas! <laughs> it's not New Carnival. It's not New Carnival anymore. It's New Texas. This is what it is. Gosh, I can't. I can't! It's so strange! I've never played a cowboy PL before! It's so weird! Master, we found it! It really is that town! But the clothes should still be breathable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you know, you gotta wear, like, what those desert travelers should wear. Like, a long coat. Like, that... What's it called? The something like... Is it called a burqa? Like... Like, the, 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 the outfit that we, uh, Muslim women wear in Middle East. The full outfit. Something like that in that nature. There's like sand in your lungs. Where the hell is that gonna go? You're about to die from suffocation from the sand. You know? <laughs> gonna die. <laughs> the wolf pups will learn to wield their first gun. <laughs> yeah! Don't let the dog have the gun! Oh my god, this is like Pokemon Sword and Shield all over again. You have to. <laughs> what the dog doing? Pokemon Sword, Pokemon Shield, Pokemon Gun. <laughs> Sweet. It's really here. The scenery looks exactly the way it's described in the book. Sand and dust swirling across the wide streets make it look desolate. The population seems pretty small as well. But there's one thing that sticks out like a sword thumb. Everyone on the road is staring at us. I mean, yeah, I, uh, I don't believe uh, Shota Twinkie. And uh, not not a twink. He's a muscle Shota. Honestly, he's not even a Shota. What is he? He's small. He's small and has muscles. You know, and he's five centimeters away from exposing his nipples. No wonder everyone's looking. You know. Like, <laughs> <laughs> You're an unfamiliar face as all for, after all. He's a short snack. Yes. Yes, he is. He is small. He's not showed up, but he's small. He's just a young guy with muscle. <laughs> Everything in this town, the buildings, the decorations, the people, uh, the clothes the people wear, it all stands out. Yes, he's still growing. He has at least 300 years ahead of him, I, I think. I don't know how old he is. He, he's younger than Yakumo, if not mistaken. So he's like human years, like 20, 22, 23, something there, you know. Oh, he's very, but that, but that doesn't include his dog years, you know. That doesn't include his dog years before, like, like, you know, it's kind of like a Topper situation. Topper is alive for like hundreds of years now, you know. But Garu is like, as a dog, he might be alive for 500 years and then just up and dies, you know, <laughs> and becomes a yokai, right? <laughs> so, <laughs> oh, there's a store over there that sells local clothes. How about we? Whoa. Oh my god, look at that! Oh my god, breedable! Holy sh! Oh. Look, this is a oh my god. This outfit is so slutty. I love it. <laughs> no, it looks like something you can make in degrees of nudity. Look at that. He has a bra. <laughs> he has the. He has a bra. <laughs> and, and and cow lingerie. Heck yeah! In fact, it looked like they were made for you. Made for him. <laughs> you calling you calling him breathable <laughs> Oh 
But Aiden looks ex. <laughs> no, Aiden looks. <laughs> Aiden looks like a hoe. Look at him. Look at those hips. Look at those hips. He's not even wearing anything inside. He's just wearing a vest. He's he's like forty percent exposed. Oh my god! I just saw his pants as a hole. Look at that. His pants as a fucking hole. God damn. <laughs> Oh yeah, why am I trying to lag on me after you said Gar is breedable? Your your internet provider has detected <laughs> that I'm a bit too not safe for you. <laughs> what? 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 It's true. Look at him. Look at those hips. <laughs> yeah, this this is a bit this is a bit odd for me, but it's okay. It's not. <laughs> No, he looks just like a stripper. Sorry. This is like, God, like... yippee i yay yo you know? <laughs> Gotta ride a horse. <laughs> this makes crossing through the mountains and the dead zone totally worth it. <laughs> Thank you, Master. Your clothes are also very cool, Master. You look like a different master. Jesus Christ, how m Take a shot every fucking time Garu says master. <laughs> Let's go. Let's visit some of the other places in town. You gotta look and listen more if you want inspiration. <laughs> Speaking of scouting around for the news, we better start with the local tavern. Ooh, ding, ding, ding. Oh, ho. You want us die, Nani? What did I? What did I say? I I totally forgot what I just said. <laughs> Although the roads feel desolate, the tavern's pretty lively. Oh my God! I just realized, Jesus! Look at that! Look at those thighs! Look at those thighs! There's a slug bump. Oh my god, there, there's like a sl slight bulge from... <laughs> and his thighs. God. Master, there's so many smells here. Stop smelling! Stop sniffing people, they stinky! What do you two want? Please get me a... Uh, drinking every time Garu says master, yeah. Yeah, well, <laughs> well true, true, uh, like VTuber, like viewer, we go to the hospital together, right? We go to the emergency <laughs> together. <laughs> oh my god, his nipple! Oh shit, his nipple's out. Gotta love it. Oh, -ho. is that an eyelash? Wow, his eyelash is so sharp. It's so long, it stretches out from his eyelid. Oh my... I cannot be the only one who saw his dick out. I... What's Dante doing here? He's even wearing local clothes. And he's clearly recognized me, but he looked away immediately. Don't tell me. Ah, oh, Master, that man with red hair. Isn't that the sun? Ah, uh, excuse me, give me your most famous drink and some meat dishes. Thanks. Okay, let me show you. We gotta have Dante in a picture. Alright, take take a seat. Garu, uh, we should keep a low profile. After all, it's easy to get in trouble in a place like this. You remember that story about risking your life in a fight? Huh? Oh, I get it. Getting the hint, Garu nods with a serious expression. He draws his eyes away from the red-haired youth, his wolf ears twitching slightly to listen to the hustle and bustle. I lost. Okay, 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 do you see? Do you, do you see his pants? Do you see his pants? Why, why the light like that? Why the light like that? Let me let me take let me let me take one of you guys and like try to highlight what I'm seeing. Okay, Jem. 
I'm using you for now. Hold on. Uh, where? I gotta move this in front. Okay. That jet. Here. This thing here. Do you see that? Do you see that? <laughs> He's keeping his... <laughs> He's so happy to see it. Is that... It's like a sn... <laughs> It's not. Is that a snake in your boot, <laughs> or is that a is that a knife in your pocket? The lighting, the 3D. It's pretty long. The saying is pretty long. I got. I gotta take Abel. Abel, go. Sniff, sniff. Okay, done. Abel just keeps flying around. Stop it, Abel. Okay. Back to behind the screen you go. Eee, kimoi. <laughs> Able kimoi. <laughs> yeah, you guys did it. Yeah, thank god I'm not going crazy. I got lucky and pulled them both, but please, devs, give Garu a break. <laughs> nah, we gotta torture the little guy. We gotta, we gotta make him sad every fucking round, you know? <laughs> you really do have bad luck drawing such an awful hand. He's cheated! Huh. Why well, feign surprise? I already noticed what you're up to under the table. Yet you're stupid enough to keep playing? Looks like you have a reason for playing. Cut the crap. You've already wasted my patience. Instead of watching you beat around the bush with your stupid tricks, I may as well look for someone else to play. Hey, 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 it'll all be the same whoever you find. Engaging in exchange is one of our rules. If you don't follow along nicely, an outsider like you won't get anything done. Again with the rules. Since you get what I'm saying, I'll show you my good side. One more game. As I thought, Dante is mingling with the patrons in disguise because he's got some goal. Now that I think about it, even though this is the fire territory, doesn't he have, doesn't he have any authority in places outside of Solaria? This place seems a bit sunken. Thought Aiden unobtrusively scans the entire tavern. The noisy patrons come in all shapes and sizes. Some even showing yokai features. Yo- Cowboy yokai! Oh my god. I made a meme on new carnival subreddit. I think everyone hates me now. What did you do? Oh god. How can- How can anyone be upset in this game? <laughs> this is a- This is a porn game. <laughs> with story. Yes, I'll beat with story. But Jesus. It's okay, just delete your account and make another. That's how Reddit works. <laughs> the more I look, the less I can tell who's a g good or bad. Looks like Gaur and I need to stay on our toes. Master. Master. Sorry, I was just thinking. Huh? huh? Garu. D these empty plates. Did you eat everything? Uh, Karu also had some. You ate too damn fast! Haha, <laughs> no food. Is it busy? First come, first serve. The early bird gets the worm. Haha, <laughs> I'll just have this apple before the next dish arrives. Master, those people look like they're playing a game. It looks super interesting. How about we go over and join them? Oh shit. Aiden's gonna be bankrupt. Let's fucking go. And then I can see what Dante doing. Well, on the way over. Uh-huh, we get it. Okay, okay. So, yes, every everything's coming into place in this de this desolate town of somewhere in the fire territory. Alright, let's go chapter three. Hee <laughs> hee. Please, please. Oh my god. Please, oh my god. Chapter three, chapter three. Let's go! Oh dear. We're gonna see more of Dante's ugly side, I guess. Hiya! 
Ooh, I really like how his gems are on the collar. Wow, I won! You're not bad, kiddo. Alright, I'll give it a shot too. Oh. Ow. Throwing the dart with a majestic gesture, and it barely scratches past the bottle. The desired sound of glass breaking remaining to be heard. Oh, that's just dramatic. You don't have to do him so dirty, Arrow Labs. Aha, uh -huh, that's not... That's no good. Clearly, you haven't drank enough yet. Someone get this guy another drink. Then you hook them for sure. Hey, wait up. That's not how you get someone to drink. As they're having fun, Aiden sneaks a peek at the gambling table next to them. The patron across the red-haired youth suddenly slams the table, pointing a finger and crying out displease. Oh, you want to cause trouble? Can't even play the cards. So what the hell are you doing here? We should just kick you out. <laughs> you keep pulling the same trick over and over. Who's the insincere one here? Dante, this is not how you talk to cowboys! <laughs> I've had enough of this dull game. Oh my, looks like this man here doesn't ex understand the rules very well. It's not cheating if you don't catch them in the act. While Aiden is speaking, he stealthily moves behind Dante, placing a hand on his shoulder and squeezing suggestively. Oh Aiden, that's what I've been saying. You didn't catch me. You. Alright, you don't want to get kicked out. Anyway, who the hell are you? The hell are you coming over all of a sudden? The man hasn't paid the price yet. Throwing him out like this is too boring. How about letting him put on a show for everyone as an apology? Uh huh. Dante, can you strip for us? Aiden had to strip for you in the previous event. What do you think you're doing? This is for you. Put it on your head. Pulling one of Dante's hands over, he places the apple he just saved from the both jaws in the palm. Everyone, take a guess. Throwing from over there, will the dart hit the apple or this pretty face? Oh shit! Ow! Isn't that really dangerous? We can actually kill... <laughs> Bruh! A dart? You fiend. Alright, alright. Just put it on your head and don't move. <laughs> don't tell me you're the one throwing the dart. I saw you earlier. You didn't hit a single bottle. Weren't you playing cards, but you were still able to look at me making an ass of myself? <laughs> They're just fucking arguing. They're just arguing. I saw you played. I, I saw you throw darts at the, at the bottle. You didn't hit a single one. And why the hell are you looking at me for, huh? Huh? Weren't you supposed to play cards? <laughs> and you fucking lost? <laughs> no, not me. Such an arduous task is of course for our Garu. Huh? huh? Me? That's right. With your accuracy, you won't hit this handsome man's face, would you? I, 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 I won't. <laughs> oh shit. Looking at Dante's serious, commanding face, then at his master's smiling and encouraging face, Garu takes a deep breath. Hi! -ya! Oh sh. Huh? Karu, you. Oh! Huh? It's going to miss. Oh fuck, goodbye. Oh, that was close! Just right above his head, thank goodness! Dante immediately notices something is wrong with a wolf yokai. To make sure the act comes to a proper conclusion, he moves his heel the slightest bit, letting the dart hit the apple on his head. Oh! Oh, so it was bound for his face! But thank god! Thank god he kind of... He shifted a little bit. That was too intense. You with the red hair sure have some guts. Here, the dr this drink's on me. Thanks. Oh, you have you got some guts. Not bad at all. If you still want to play cards, I'll be waiting here for you. <laughs> Everybody seems pleased. Looks like we managed to get through.
sun. Ah, uh, I'm sorry. But it... oh, I'm sleepy. My aim is off. What happened just now? Karu suddenly yelled. I need to watch the side. I didn't. I didn't throw straight because he startled me. Bro, Karu, you about to murder somebody? You about to kill somebody? So I want to watch. I want to watch. Karu, what's up? I don't know either. Oh, oh, there he is. Ah, 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 oh. Oh, ho. Ouch, that hurts. You runt. Don't you look where you're going. Huh? I'm sorry. Now wait just a minute. Clearly, you're the one bumping you, uh, into us. This ain't, one of, not, this ain't none of your business. We're talking to this runt here. You keep out of it. You can't just get out of bumping into people with an apology. What, you need me to teach you the rules of this place? Uh, well, what, what are you planning? If you give me that collar around your neck as an apology, I'll let you go. You crazy! Bearded man? Isn't that wanted? Right behind there is a bearded man. Let's arrest him. <laughs> no way, I can't give this to you. Such an obvious blackmail. The other patrons have scrammed. The bartender is also pretending like he didn't see anything. Looks like these guys are the local bullies. This sucks. Oi. You guys. Quiet. I'll just help myself. Stay back! The wolf yokai throws the playing darts with a whoosh. One after another, thudding into the floor and successfully stopping the approaching man in his tracks. We need some guns, baby! Interesting. Look, you're, you're looking for some action? Looks like we're gonna have to force you. Oh. Oh, son! What's with all the commotion? Who's raising a fuss in here? Osan Arudane, let's go, old man Ojisan, yum yum yum. Chapter four, we gotta see. Dante is definitely having a gun, but I wonder if Gar is gonna bring a gun. It doesn't look like it though. Who is raising a fuss? Stand up before you make a disgrace of yourself. Oh, he's pretty handsome. It's nothing. We were just having a little bit of fun with this young guest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was just a joke. The entire tavern got silent the moment that guy appeared. Even these guys picking a fight calmed down immediately. Night rat? <laughs> Such a shameful display. What are you up to? The bearded man called Night Rat casts a glance at Garu and shrugs. It really was just. It really was just a joke. What? Who the hell puts their gems in such an obvious place? Whatever. We're going back to prepare the stuff we need the next time we go out. We're off. Watch what you're doing. Don't go breaking the rules. Of course, of course. We're out. Good riddance. They gave us a slip. After the two men who tried to take Garu's uh, collar leave the tavern, the other man slowly moves to a table and sits down. The quiet patrons are clearly relieved and resume their drinking and talking. Is he the police? Or the strongest guy there, I feel. Nah. That man who just came in. Is he the leader around here? Or some local official or something? He seems pretty incredible. We are an unregulated town, so no officials come here. But Lone Wolf can be considered our leader. Whenever the town's in any sort of trouble, he's the one helping us solve it. He truly is the oldest cowboy. He's the village elder. Ah! Oh, okay. Dante says Lone Wolf. Is that his name? Everybody calls him that because he's he always acts alone. Huh? Pretty Delphi. Yes, he is. Yum, yum, yum. <laughs> Lone Wolf. That sounds so familiar. What? Oh, it's the guy! Hello, do you remember me? We kind of died in your arms. 
Just as Aiden makes the connection, he hears a cold laugh that draws the attention of the entire tavern. I really didn't think someone so important would appear in a remote and desolate place. Yeah, he's the traveler. Even if you dress up and make your way in, the lofty air of yours st stands out like a sore thumb here. Sun Lord of Solaria. Oh shit! He was busted from the right from the beginning. Nice. <laughs> not completely remote and desolate. At least some people still recognize me. He recognized Dante immediately. That's a town leader, all right. Master, everyone seems to be acting strange. After Lone Wolf, oh, Lone Wolf pointed out Dante's identity, the look on the patrons' faces all turned unfriendly. Oh shit. Rather than suspicious and, and guarded, it's like a cult hatred without clear origin. What's going on? Such animosity. So much worse than when we were when they were playing cards and nearly getting into a fight. Since you know me, I'll just give it to you straight. I'm here to track down the handheld essence conductors. Oh, the fucking gun? Yeah. Those crude replicas must have been smuggled into Solaria from here. I remember those illegal weapons that made into the black market. I made it into the black market in the water territory. This isn't Solaria. I have no obligation to answer your questions. Solaria has its laws, and we make our own rules here. If there's something you want, how about you pit yourself against me according to our rules? That wow, uh, bro. That is long. That is very very long. Yeah, his PP too powerful. That's what it is. <laughs> Seemingly thinking his words aren't enough of a challenge, he raises a hand and reveals the item he's carrying at his hip. One of the essence conductors Dante is looking for. <laughs> Showing off his weapon. Those rules. He's talking about con be those rules that Garu mentioned. <laughs> Playing tricks to ch cheat at bets. Blackmailing the moment you see something you want. Are these your so-called rules? Those rules of yours lack any principle whatsoever. I don't need to adhere to them. Since I already found evidence there are essence conductors here. If you're not gonna stick to our rules, get, just get your ass back to Solaria. You're not welcome here. That's right. Who do you think you are? Get the hell out. He's a king. Bro, my guy, my brother in Christ. He is a king. That's, what, that's who he is. <laughs> He's just trying to eliminate the problem. Just don't sell your guns to Solaria. God, like... Shit, things are going sour. Shouldn't we be thinking of beating our retreat? But Dante. <laughs> Good morning, Sachan. It has been three years since we last streamed. Ah, I remember. Karu? That man is the traveler I met in a dead zone. A oh hole. Yes, we kind of knew that, Garu. Please. Garud. <laughs> now here's the dilemma. We gotta. We may have to shoot this Yippie Ioli old man cowboy geezer. Or. <laughs> we save him. I think that the, these are the only two choices we have. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm actually thinking of having some coffee, but I don't know. I'm just craving for some sweet things. What do I do? Chapter 5. Maybe I should just keep talking. <laughs> You, you're that man I met in the dead zone. Huh? The man turns his head, and after several seconds, his sharp look softens clearly as a smile appears on his face. Ah, he's an old ah. 
Ah, oh, sweet baby. Oh, sweet. Oh, he's just a dad. He's just a, he's just a black market dad. <laughs> Look at him. It's you, young wolf yokai. Such a long time it has been. Did you finally decide to leave the dead zone and see the world? Uh. Yeah. Because I'm not alone anymore. There's Karu and Master by my side. Oh yeah, I haven't introduced Master to you yet. Ah, it's like an uncle. I gotta introduce my my my, my husband to my uncle. Master. Oh my God, you dragging him. <laughs> uh, hello. I'm Aiden. I'm. <laughs> I never thought a wolf running free in the dead zone would one day be become a pet dog. He has always been a pet dog. That's his life goal. He wanted to... <laughs> Aw. Hey, how about being a little nicer? Huh? A pet dog? But well, I'm not a dog. Did you get things mixed up? Whatever. Better he doesn't understand the nasty words like that. Consider yourself lucky, young Sun Lord. According to my rules, I should teach you a lesson. But in consideration of the person that saved me, I'll let you off the hook this time. The same goes for everyone else here as well. Don't bother these people. Don't bother! You're bothering us! Stop selling your guns! <laughs> All you people talk about rules. Don't tell me they apply to unreasonable things as well. That's right. Those are the rules here. Mocha coffee. Mm, that sounds pretty good. Yum, yum, yum. Too bad I don't have that. Ooh. Just like Solaria, this Sun Lord is so proud of. They also once used all sorts of rules to get rid of people who didn't have anywhere to, do to go. What's that supposed to mean? Oh ho! We are getting historical lore! Oh ho! Oh! I see! I see! Okay, so Dante's parents likely exiled all the... I don't know, likely prisoners. It's like Australia. This place is Australia now, okay? They they basically unloaded all the prisoners into a single spot, and this is where they made their town. I see, I see. And Dante has no idea, of course. He was like eight when he became king. Slow down. About those essence conductors. There's nothing to say. I'll repeat myself one more time. This place isn't under Solaria's rule, so I don't need to obey your orders. Hmm. Then don't blame me for using extraordinary measures. Things can't go on like this. The, pe the other people are starting to get riled up. If we piss them off again, things will get out of hand. But why is that? This hatred of Lone Wolf and the others have for Dante. Or rather, for Solaria, seems a bit extreme. Oh, you're gonna get- we're gonna dive into something deep. Something juicy. Dante, I think something's off. Maybe we should let it be for now and think it over first. You know how dangerous essence conductors are. I know, but I doubt you can find a solution rushing in like this. We should look around first for another way in. Dante looks around coldly. When he meets Aiden's worried eyes, he finally steps back. Garu, let's get out of here. Huh? Oh, I'm so sleepy. Oh my god. Huh? Okay. Before leaving, Garu once more looks at the lone wolf, unwilling to part after finally meeting him again. Lone Wolf, however, raises his chin and addresses Gara provocatively. Huh? You jackass! You little shit! After we saved you and you did- Come on! Like... Young Wolf Yokai, come talk to me after you've thrown off your collar. I have many more stories to tell you. 
Literally, he cannot. Metaphorically, he doesn't want to. Fuck off. Fuck off, my guy. Don't close my eyes. Ah! 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 Okay, chapter 6. Let's fucking go. Speed run, speed run. Master! Master, the wind can't reach us here. It's a good spot to rest. Oh. Great. Let's set up camp for the night then. <sighs> the two of you can probably stay in town. You don't have to leave with me. <laughs> we don't mind. And Garo and I have been camping out in a while on the way over. We're used to it by now. <laughs> yeah, don't feel bad, Sun Lord Dante. The more the merrier. We just don't want to leave you alone, Dante. It must be it must suck to get hated by the entire fucking town for reasons you don't even know yet. <laughs> but I have to tell you first. It wasn't because you convinced me that I let that man go. I know. I also have a tons of questions for you. But let's set up camp first. After setting up camp for the night, and getting a fire going in a vast openness, the three each find a spot to sit down comfortably. <laughs> the only no, the only opinion he really cares is from Aiden. He will not have Aiden hate him no matter what. The orange light of the fire lights up their faces. What are you two doing here? And how do you know that lone wolf? That's a long story. <sighs> You're an adventurer to gather materials up for a picture book. You really have too much time on your hands. <laughs> hey now, Dante. We have childhood dreams, okay? We have childlike dreams. It's okay to live our dreams. But it's a good opportunity for training. Those darts you threw at the enemy? To make them pull back was a great show of skill. <laughs> He's so cute! Look at him! He's so happy he got praised! <laughs> oh, good night, my bye bye! Bye bye! Thank you for dropping by! I'll see you guys next time! <laughs> we have two more chapters, right? Wait, no, it's chapter 5! Is it chapter 5? Fuck, I don't know. So why are you here, Sun Lord Dante? I heard you and Lone Wolf take, uh, talking about some essence conductor? It's chapter 5? Oh, thank god. No, it's chapter 6? Oh, sheesh. We got two more, two more. Let's fucking go. Yeah, there were some handheld essence conductors among the smuggled goods Celeria confiscated recently. I came to this town to investigate the following, uh, following a tip-off. Meanwhile, I noticed some strange things. What kind of things? First, compared to the other places, it's more difficult to live in the fire territory. Conditions are especially bad near the dead zone. What you're saying is, it's weird for there to be a town here? Maybe it's all a hallucination! It might just be a hallucination in the end. Oh, it's a mirage town. Maybe everybody's dead. Maybe that's what it is. Seems you have some common sense after all. There are sources of water spread throughout the fire territory. Aside from Solaria, there are other towns and villages. But this is the first time I've seen a town supported by such barren land. Maybe the town has other ways to survive, like Solaria? Yeah, based on my investigation, even if the person con behind the smuggled essence conductors isn't someone from this town, the place is still connected to the illegal trade of some high-grade goods. Chances are, that's how the town stays alive. Also, you just said you came here following a map from an old book. Where's the book? Right here. Mm. This travel record does indeed mention a town with unique customs in this area. Maybe it's Kuya behind the things again? Oh my god, this fucking old man. Oh, but did you guys see his fully voiced? Like, uh, in the main story? We get to see... Uh, like, Aiden shuffles a 
a pile a deck of cards and he's like Sh shuffle Sh nah, nah. <laughs> he, he couldn't even say the word properly he's an old man and a baby <laughs> he's just a baby the town is sandy rare weapons circulate there and they developed a unique fighting culture through this those battles must be using the handheld essence conductors Huh? Ren's voice, yeah! It's just Aiden with a higher pitch! Man, the sun. <laughs> Ooh. I can't wait for another Shaman King moment to happen. I am calling it here. These two are gonna fuse one day. A Rin will disappear forever. I can I can smell it. Once Aiden gets his memories back as Hui, he's gonna <laughs> he's gonna absorb Rin like a boba. Master, what are the handheld essence conductors? Why do you and Sun Lord Dante look so serious whenever you mention them? Alright, you haven't seen those weapons, Garu. Those weapons once caused a stir in the water, water territory black market. He's just a little sour grape, that's what he is. You can use them in a single hand. Simply pull the trigger to fire a condensed essence inside. Because they combine combine lightweight with power, they're surprisingly lethal. <laughs> it's super easy to use. I wanted to keep one for myself. God damn it, Aiden. Oh? I only thought about it. Don't even think about it. <laughs> Thinking's a crime too. <laughs> Come on, he just wants to. He just wants to touch a gun. He just wants to have a gun. You know, like pew pew. <laughs> you gotta give him a Nerf gun. That's what he needs. I mean, didn't the knights destroy all the handheld essence conductors? A different batch. From what I've gathered, those smuggled into Solaria are shoddy knockoffs. They are also operated differently from the ones we've seen. Shoddy knockoffs. Oh, -ho. we have fake guns. Dang. Ah, uh, let me stretch. Everybody, stretch. Stretch, everybody. Ah, my back. Oh, it hurts. Ah, oh, I'm so old. Ah, okay. Back to this chapter seven. Let's go! Two more chapters, guys! We can do it! My eyes, too! They're so small! My camera is not picking up my eyes! These essence conductors don't have co corresponding clothes to support. So they're not as efficient and tr threatening. Oh, my, my mouth. My mouth is dead. Hold on. Water time. Ah. All right. Let's fucking go. Each shot fires a single essence bullet, after which you can have to wait a while for the essence to condense before you can fire again. That makes it sound like any they're older products, but if you know how to use it, you can't underestimate the power of a single essence bullet. Huh? The old man was carrying something so dangerous? Why is it popular in town? It's only natural for a lethal and easy-to-use weapon to catch the eyes of the people engaged in illegal activities. Sun Lord Dante, you mean that the, ta the people in this town, and also the old man, are bad people? Yes, Garu. Unfortunately. Not necessarily. Mm. Huh? Why so loud? After everything that's happened in the tavern, I thought you had a negative view of the people here. What about you two then? What do you two think? Mm. Although that man with the beard wanted to take my collar, the people were really nice to me. I don't think they're bad people. Garu, in this world, it's kill or be killed. <laughs> Da, 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 da. 
Lone Wolf doesn't seem to be doesn't seem like a bad person either. What basis do you have for that judgment? Intuition? <laughs> What's with his nitpicking tone? Why the sudden switch to interrogation mode? Because the games they play ha all have rules. Everything's fine as long as you are willing to play along. It's a wonderful idea. Huh? <laughs> 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 Oh, the guy playing cards with me kept cheating, so what makes you say that? Now he's really testing Garu. I heard him and Master talk. He said that it's not cheating if you don't catch them. Maybe it sounds unreasonable, but that's also a kind of rule. Yeah, it makes stuff a little interesting. Later, when we performed with the darts as an exchange, they didn't bother us anymore. They even applauded and treated us. This shows they really have no bad intentions. It's just that the rules here are different from the ones we know. <sighs> huh. <laughs> you must follow it now! 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 <laughs> oh my gosh. Would this be close enough? <laughs> you fool! In this world, it's kill or be killed. <laughs> Why don't you touch my friendliness pellets? <laughs> You're right. That's also what I think. Yes. Amazing, Garu. You passed Dante's test. And you lose evil? <laughs> How... How can you say that? How can you say that about me, huh? I'm not gonna talk to you, huh? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> top or be top? Oh, you nasty. <laughs> In this world, it's topped or be topped. <laughs> Let's get back on topic. The faces are too cute, Nani. <laughs> Nani? Who? Huh? I'm not. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna look at chat. No, -uh, not cute. Let's get back on topic. Aside from being able to settle on barren land, the town also holds other riddles. The old, this old book you brought. It records what the person traveling here saw and heard. And it's got a map that with a position marked. But none of Solaris books and records mention anything about there being a town here. Huh? Solaria doesn't have any records. But the town's in the, in the fire territory. And it looks like it has been here for a while already. My butler once heard a traveler mention that towns not recorded in Solaria records are recorded in Klein's books. What? What is this? Huh? That's so weird. Why? That's so weird. There's so many houses with, in the town with people living in them. It's a puzzling place indeed. Yo, we are in Australia. That's what's happening, Dante. It's time to find out about Australia too. And in a tavern. When the lone wolf mentioned the Sun Lord of Solaria, the entire atmosphere changed. Oh. Thinking back to when the atmosphere of the tavern changed, the tree falls silent. Although we have no way of clearing things up right now, all these all these questions must have something to do with Solaria. Oh. There's no way Dante can let it go if it has to do with Solaria. I bet he'll find a way to figure things out. But Sun Lord, do you want me to ask this old man? Um, Sun Lord Dante, do you want me to ask the old man? How are you gonna ask him? I wanna ask him what those essence conductors are, and whether he'll let them end up in Solaria. Why everyone changes the moment they hear Solaria and... 
You saved his life, so maybe he's willing to tell you. But he will probably use his rules to make demands of you. Demand you to remove your collar before you can talk with him. Huh? huh? But my gemstone's on the collar. I can't take it off. Garu. The collar Lone Wolf and Dante are talking about isn't that collar. It's a metaphor. Lone Wolf seems displeased with you calling master, calling me master. Maybe he hopes to sh for you to shake off my control? You're not controlling me, master. The thing is, this thing might be hard to explain to people who don't know the specifics. That's right. I can't just sit around here without knowing the specifics. I'll go look around the edges of town. Aside from the people acting strange, maybe there are other hints of a relationship with Solaria. Aww. Now that sucks. The old man. It's hard to understand, but this is how it is. If Aiden isn't there, Garu might be dead. Just saying. Oh my god, we're finally at the last the last chapter. Are you guys ready? The last chapter of this week. Let's fucking go, mate. Final chapter. Woohoo. Let's go. Oh, we're so close, guys. We're so close. You wanna leave the camp at this hour? This is the best time for investigating. You saw what a town is like too, didn't you? That's true, I guess. The mo the whole town must know us by now. So they have your their eyes on us wherever we go. Huh? Are you gonna investigate by yourself, Sun Lord Dante? Three people stand out too much. Going alone won't attract as much attention. Bruh, your hair is red. You are a king. Everyone has their eyes locked on you. You are a wanted man in their books. Huh? In that case, do be careful, bruh! Oh my god, Dante's gonna be injured. Nani? Hmm? Why are you looking at me like that? Bruh! Dante, you it, are, is it me or like... Is it me or like they're arguing a lot more than normal now? <laughs> I was expecting you to whine about wanting to come along. Hmm. I do want to go, but it's possible we're being watched here since we set up camp. So maybe it's better Garu and I stay here and just talk to the tent, pretending you're asleep. That might lower their guard, making it easier for you to investigate. Yeah, they are. They really are. Just, they're just married couples at this point. Dante's the wife, you know? The wife. I know, master. This is what you call deceptive tactics. <laughs> That's right, such a smart boy, Garu. Oh, you, 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 oh, you, 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 such a good boy, Garu. Mm. Hmm. Uh hum. Hum. Dante, you're going to, to tend to sleep? Don't take up all the space and leave some for us. I know you're afraid of the cold, but don't grab all the blankets. Yo, the slander? The slander every- oh my god, I swear. Once the story clears out and the town fucking loves them again, someone's gonna bring up saying like, Oh, the king of Solera steals blankies. He steals blankets. <laughs> He's just a little baby. That's what he is. Good night, Sun Lord Dante. Don't worry, I'll prepare breakfast. Huh? What? You don't want mushrooms in your breakfast? I didn't know you were a picky eater. Yo, he, they're fucking doing... They're doing him so dirty. There are gonna be rumors all over that... That... That town. <laughs> hi, hi. Imagine the amount of blankets he hoarded in winter. Yeah, honestly, though. No. It's so funny that he had, like, an official sneezing line. The poor baby. Alright, alright. Don't waste this opportunity. Sneak out already. Oh ho. I know we're just shooting the breeze, but Dante's been anxious from the moment we ran into him. Hmm. Does he care that much about what's going on in town? It does involve the safety of Solaria, after all. Garu, on the other hand, has been kicking ass. Huh? 
Oh, Master, why are you staring at me? Because you have been kicking ass, Garu. Huh? I've been kicking ass? You took me through the dead zone to the town, then all these things happened in the town, but you resolved them all by yourself? And you even provided Dante with intel. You're both brave and careful, Garu. You're amazing. Aww. <laughs> ah! Oh my god, the face he's making is so fucking cute. He's just a baby. Thank you, Master. Maybe it's because I'm with Master that I'm so at ease and also... Everything that happened today really feels like an adventure from a book. We didn't just beat Dante, but also the old man. I just can't help feeling a bit excited. Is that weird? It's not weird. Don't, uh, rather, you're an even more awesome adventurer than those in those storybooks, Garu. Really? And then I want you to praise me some more, Master. Hey, 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 now. Don't get spoiled. Ah! That pose. You want me to rub your head? No problem. I did. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wow, Garu and Aiden are having the time of their lives, and Dante is out there about to get murdered. <laughs> Just as Aiden surmised, a pair of eyes is watching their every move from the building not too far away. How, thing how are things looking? Those two by the fire are cracking jokes. They seem pretty happy. Then they killed the fire and went into the tent to sleep. Before going to sleep, they folded their shirts, one wrapped around the other and hung it outside the tent. What's with the envy? Hey, no, no, what? What? No, no. <laughs> oh my god. They're jealous. They're jealous. They're jealous they're getting some action. What the fuck? Okay. What's with the envy? No. Who the hell's asking about those two? What about the Sun Lord? Seemed like he hit the sack early. Oop. He got bamboozled. <laughs> Keep an eye on them. Don't let them interfere with the plan. Especially not that Sun Lord. Another cult? Let's fucking go. Within the screeching wind, the red-haired youth makes his way to an old to old barren ruins. Reaching out and a tattooed arm, he releases essence in an attempt to communicate. But he gets no response. Like this, a place once blessed by the elemental spirits of fire that's no longer being looked after? No, judging from the altar lying in waste, they stopped maintaining it a long time ago. There must be another reason for Lone Wolf's attitude and the, that of the, oh, of the townspeople. Your parents, Dante. Oh, well, there it is. That's the end of this week's um, chapters. Many mystery and goddamn, they're getting they they are jealous that Aiden's having some time with Garu. <laughs> so yeah, with that, that will be the end of today's stream, and I'll see you guys on next time. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you so much for dropping by, and I'll see you next week. You know what we'll say? Are you Masumi? Good night. Bye bye. Wow, I really don't have transitions. Hello? Excuse me? Damn, I have no transitions at sight. Jeez. Bye bye.